So as we are waiting for people to join, I think Watsi said he was coming, he's up. When we come to a comfortable seated position, whether that is sitting cross legs, sitting maybe with the knees apart in a hero's pose with or without a block. Come to a seated position. Whoever you're sat, try to make sure the spine is straight. So that you allow the energy, the prana, that's our, our life force, to move up and down the spine as we breathe. Up and down the spine, meaning from the root all the way up to the crown. There's this full line moving through those seven chakras. And when you've got your comfortable seated position, I'm sitting on a block. You could sit on a cushion. If you have a meditation cushion, sit on your cushion. If something that you particularly like. Some way that you can be sad and be comfortable. So we're going to be here for a few minutes. And when you're sad, you're comfortable, your eyes are closed. Your hands either on the knees, palms up, or palms down, or it can just be resting in your lap. Whatever feels most comfortable and natural to you. Your palms are facing down, make sure you don't lean into them. They're just resting there. Focusing on the inhales, it comes in and it goes out. Breathing deep into the stomach as we inhale, filling it up like a balloon. And exhale, drawing it back in towards the spine. Emptying out. Inhaling, breathing in. Long, deep breath in. Filling up the belly, filling up the ribs. Long, deep breath out. Fully exhaling. Long deep breath in, filling up the belly, filling up the ribs, filling up the heart, using up all the available space. And long deep breaths out. And as we breathe in and out like this, you might start to notice the slight pause when you've got your full inhalation, you're completely full of breath, and there's that gentle pause at the top of the breath before you exhale. And maybe you start to notice that pause at the bottom where you're completely empty before you start to inhale again. So prana is the life energy. Gives us all the energy do everything, it travels up and down our spine, it goes all the way to our fingers, all the way to our toes, all the way to our brain. And pranayama is the yogi breath work, which is the control of the breath, controlling the prana. We want to be breathing as the most effectively way we can. Effective way we can. Start by lengthening into our breath. So breathing in, when we're breathing in, we're trying to lengthen up to a higher count each time, and then breathing out for the same amount of time. If it gets too much, you just go down to the point below, whatever the count was that was good for you. If you want to keep going with the count, increasing it each time, you're very welcome to do so. But try and be never feel like you're you're struggling to meet the breath. It should always be within your ability and your range. And your range will change over time, over the days, and what time of day it is you're practicing and how awake or sleepy or full you are. So no expectations. Just listen to what's happening right now. 
So we start our breath work, sitting tall, our eyes are closed, completely exhale. And inhaling for a count of four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Going down, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one. Now turning to our natural breath. Checking in with our breath, how does it feel different? How does the mind feel different? If your feet are starting to go a little numb, just tell them it's okay. They will not fall off. They're going to be fine. Try and stay seated for just a little bit longer. That's the new moon is coming up this weekend. You might find you want to set an intention already for the weekend before the moon comes. Or maybe it's the same one you want to set for the moon for this period, the cycle. And maybe something very small, like I will practice every day, or I will practice four times a week. I will eat fresh food once a day. Whatever it is, we'd like to set one for this time. Now is your chance. Um, 
hands slowly coming off our blocks or our cushions, making your way down into a child's pose. Bring your toes together or knees wide. Kind of walk forward with the hands so we bring the chest down. We can move our hips from side to side. Resting either the chin or the forehead down to the mat. We can be completely passive and relaxed in the child's pose, or we can press the fingertips down, lifting up the wrists and the elbows and reaching far, far forwards, making it an active child's pose. Up to you. And lengthen through the back if you're active, or sinking deep, deep down if you're passive. If you were passive before, come to the active child's hold, lift the wrists and the elbows, and then walk around to the right hand side as far as you can go, keeping the sitting bones on the heels, and then maybe placing the left hand option on top of the right and sinking the left shoulder down to the mat. And to lengthen through the side body. And again, you can rest the forehead down, you can rest it onto your arm, side of the head, the ear. And then walking back around the center, getting long, active, reach as far as you can. And then walking to the other side, walking to the left. Again, you keep the hands parallel, or bring one hand, the right hand, on top of the left, and sink the right shoulder down. Pressing maybe the right ear to the shoulder, or the head, or the chin. And walking back again through the center and coming up to our hands and knees, into our tabletop, hands stacked under our shoulders, our hips underneath the knees, or above the knees, excuse me. The knees under the hips. There we go. You need to tap out your feet a little bit after the seated. Tap a little feet. All is good. And then extend your right leg back, reaching as far as you can. Try to keep the hips square, facing down. We're reaching our left hand forwards, trying to balance. Find a point on your mat to look at. And you don't have to look at me, if you just listen. And then we're going to crunch our elbow to our knee, crunching them together to the center. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen, and then we're swinging the left arm behind us, trying to catch our toes of our right foot, maybe kicking up a little bit. And bringing both palms back down, stepping our right foot between the hands, and maybe scooting the left knee back a little bit. Keep the toes untucked. Come up onto our hands with the hands on top of the thigh, and we can just sink down a little bit. Trying to keep the hips pushing forwards, our tail keeping tucked underneath us. Sinking down, stretching through the front groin, the psoas and the other connecting muscles here. And the option we can lift our arms up. Maybe even look up. Bring your palms back down, stepping back. Moving from side to side. And then restacking. Hands under the shoulders. 
Knees under our hips. Left leg goes back. Lift it up. Extend. Try and keep the hips steady. Knit in the core. Knit everything together. Pull the belly in. Reach your right arm. Again, find that point, that drishti, that gaze spot. Find somewhere that's convenient for you to look. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, reach your right arm back, bend the foot, bend the knee, catch the toes maybe, and see can you kick it back. Right hand comes down, bring that left foot in between the hands, rise up. Remember, you can always scoot the back knee, the right knee back a little bit. You could fold the mat to bring a blanket underneath. If you have a lot of soreness in the knee and then sink it down. Remember to push the hips forwards, keep tucking the tailbone as you sink. Option to reach the arms. And bring the palms down, step it back. And again, go from side to side. Wiggle, wiggle. Again, from our tabletop, and now dipping the tail up, chest forward, look up into our happy cow, and then rolling through the spine all the way to our angry cat. Rolling through the spine back to the happy cow, and rolling back through to our angry cat. Inhale, rolling forwards, happy. Cow, chest up, look up, heels of the hands, push down, exhale, angry cat, press to the fingertips. Inhale, happy cow, look forward, chest up, exhale, angry cat, fingertips, press down. Inhale to the happy cow, tuck your toes, exhale, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. And paddle through the heels, lifting one up at a time. And push through the chest, pulsing up and down, getting a bit more glide here. Finally, when you're ready, coming to a still dog. And it might take a little a few breaths. It might be in the next round of the downward dogs. Come to stillness. Press the fingertips down. Reach up. Press the knuckles down. Push the mat away. Stepping your feet so they're nice and wide, wide as our mat. We're going to go for a little twist. Left hand grounds down, right hand reaches towards the thigh, left thigh, left calf or the ankle. I'm using that as a lever. We're twisting around. Keep the hips where they were. We're twisting through the spine and that thoracic region. Looking up past the left armpit. And then bring the right hand back. Switching. Left hand reaches for the thigh. Right thigh. Right calf. Or right ankle. And twist. If it's hard to balance, walk the feet so there's a less of a distance between the feet and the hands. Bring your right left hand back down, walking your feet so they're hip width apart. And then walking, walking to the top of our mat, feet behind your hands, bending to the knee, to your chest, reaches your thigh, your thighs to your chest, hold the elbow and rock from side to side.
holding onto the back of the head, hands interlaced, we're bouncing, bouncing up and down. Now letting the head relax, shaking the head no, tying the head yes, yes and no problems, releasing through the back, the shoulders, slowly peeling yourselves up, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up to standing. Heads heavy, it's the last thing to come up. Reach your arms up over your head. They can touch, palms can touch, or they can be separate. Shoulder width apart, then fold the arms back down. We're standing close to the nasana. Our feet hip width apart. And we go again, inhale, raising the arms, look up. Exhale, soften into the knees, go down. Inhale, flat back, lift, long, kind of lengthen from the City bones all the way up to the head. On the palms, right foot steps back, low lunge. Untuck your toes, raise the arms, push the hips forwards, and up. Exhale, catch the arms, open them up wide, sweep the shoulder blades together in the center of the back. And how to reach. Exhale, our right fingers down, fingers in line with their left toes, and open twist, reach up. Option to reach behind the back, wrapping the arm around the torso. Next inhale, brings our arm back up and around. We're stepping the feet back, high plank, dropping the knees, hugging the elbows in, hugging the belly in as we hinge forwards of the body, keeping the elbows nice and tight. On the toes, come up to a baby cobra or upward dog. Cobra, our hands or elbows are bent, the hips are on the mat, upward dog, arms straight, hips lifted. Tuck the toes, roll back over the knee, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, forwards, bending your knees. Step forward, top of your mat. And how? Flat back, lengthen, get long. Exhale, forward fold, step the left foot back into this low lunge. Reach your arms up, push the hips forwards. Notice we're not sinking down so deep this time, we're trying to keep this 90 degree so the thigh is parallel with your mat. Next exhale, we cactus our arms, opening up. And now to reach up again. And exhale to twist. Left hand comes down and line with the right toes, reach up. Option to reach behind. Inhale, hand come up. And plant it down, tuck your left toes. Next inhale, high plank. We move through again, drop the knees, hug the elbows in, hinge forwards. Option for cobra, if you're all the way down. Or upward dog, the option is yours. Tuck your toes, roll it back, downward facing. Belly here for a couple of breaths, remembering to pull the ribs in. Avoid holding out the back too much. Push, push, pushing with the shoulders and the hands. Bring your right foot up to the sky. We're going to pulse it up here in our three legged dog. Five, keep the hips square. Four, three. Two, one, hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit it down, left leg comes up. We're gonna pulse it up. 
five, kicking it high, four, three, two, one, keep it up, five, four, three, two, one, bring the foot down, look forward, we're going to step our right foot forwards on the outside of our hand, and then the left foot out of the left hand, and sit down into where you'll be squats. Move from side to side, side to side, side to side. And our next inhale, we're going to lift up. Inhale, all the way up to standing. And set our feet together. Arms down. Down to CT. All right, we're going to go again. Watch just the same. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Like a little faster. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. Untuck your toes. Inhale to rise. Exhale to cactus. Inhale to reach. Open twist. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand down, tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knee chest chin. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to step our right foot forward. So inhale, right foot up. Exhale, step it forward, bring the knee down on top of the toes. Inhale, rise. Half lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, to reach again. Look up. Exhale, open twist, left hand down. Staying here, inhale. Exhale, palms down, tuck your toes, lift your knee. Inhale, step it back, high plank. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catching your breath. And then stepping or hopping to this balasana, to that yogi squat. And sitting down. Move from side to side. Turn to face you. And right hand goes down, left hand up, reach, lengthen through the chest. Next up, coming back to the center. Left hand down, inhale, reach, look up. Exhale to the center. One more, inhale, each side. Right down, lift up. Exhale, center. Inhale. Right, left down, right up, and back to the center. We're going to stand up, inhale, all the way up, feet together, exhale, stand to the Nice. We're going to go again, slightly different. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant, set your right foot back. On top of your toes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach again. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, when inhale here. Exhale, left hand down, tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale. Take your back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Here we change things up again. Inhale, right leg comes up. We're stepping it forward between the hands as far as you can. Give yourself a little help if you need it. Then your left heel down. We're coming up, warrior one. Steady, balance. 
Our front knees bends. Our hips are square, square up. Then bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Make one big fist with your hands. And we're going to fold forward. So we inhale, getting long, push the hips forwards. Exhale, fold, bring the right shoulder on the inside of the right knee. And bring the out hands overhead as much as you can. Humble warrior. Option to stay here, option to slowly straighten into the front knee, into a pyramid shape. Next inhale brings us back, the bent knee, you're straightening it. Exhale here. Inhale, coming all the way up, reaching your arm. And turn right into the balls of your feet. We're going to go forward. So inhale here, reach up. And we're exhaling, bring the left hand down, transfer the weight forwards, lift the back leg, lift the left right arm. So twisted warrior three, twisted digasana. Holding it here, trying to find the balance. Welcome to use a block. It's hard to get so far down, or a chair, or a wall. And then hugging the knees in towards each other, hug them tight. Slowly come up to stand. Tree pose. Maybe the toes are on the mat. Maybe on the calf. Maybe up. High up in the thigh. Palms through your heart. Option to close the eyes or just one eye. Bubble, you fall, it's okay. Now we're going to move slowly back through a warrior three, back to or downward dog. So slowly let the foot go, move it back, move the body forwards, extend the leg, and step it back, hands down. Right leg up, three legged dog. And bring the foot forward between the hands, left knee down. So you've added a whole little sequence in there. Inhale, our arms come up, this half lunge. Exhale, we cactus the arms. Inhale, reach again. And so we come down, open twist. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes down from the foot, tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, take the back bend. Exhale, downward yeah, facing dog. And we go again, left leg comes up. And we're stepping it forwards, warrior one. Feet between the hands. Spin the left, right heel down a little bit. Try and keep the hips going forward. And it's a lot. You can make the distance between those two feet, the width, much wider. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. We're going for this humble warrior. So we're lifting, lengthening, exhaling, fold. Uh, left shoulder and inside of the left knee, hands overhead. Left and right is so hard. Getting better though, after two plus years of doing this. No teaching. All right, option two, straighten into that front leg. And a super deep hamstring stretch is maybe too intense for a lot of us. That's okay. Bending it again. And then inhale brings us back up onto the balls of the feet. Reach your arms. And our next exhale brings our right hand down in front of our foot. Step it back, step it up even. We're stepping the weight forwards into the left foot. Twisted big asana. Or twisted warrior three. Remember, you can have your hand to your block as well. 
or some books, or whatever. Hug the knees in together, come to standing, find your tree pose. Remember your tree pose can be toes on the mat, can be on the calf, get way up here. You can use a chair for the stability, you can use the wall. Even if you're just a little bit, if you're near it, you know you can just put your hand out. That can sometimes help us to build the trust in ourselves. Give it a challenge more. Close one eye. Close the other eye. Close the mouth. Find the peace. We're going to move back into that warrior three. So the knee comes forwards, and then you start to pivot your body forwards and send the leg back. Plant the foot, plant the hands, take the left leg back. Three like a dog, downward facing dog, four legs down, little two legs, two hands. And looking forward, bending into our knees. Step for a hop, no knee squats. Gonna go through just one more time. Super nice, super quick. Moving with the breath. So we know a little bit more where we're going. So hopefully we can make it a bit smoother and a bit easier. Inhale to rise. Feet together. Exhale, sound is easy. Top of our mats. Inhale, reach your arms, look up. Exhale, forward fold, go down. Inhale, flat back, lengthen, get long. Exhale, step your right foot back on top of your toes. Inhale to rise, reach the arm. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, reach again. And exhale to twist. Inhale here. Exhale, palms down, tuck your toes, lift, inhale, high plank. Exhale, fold, go down. Inhale, take the back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg, inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior one, bend the heel. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Get ready. Inhale, for humble warrior. Exhale, fold into this humble warrior. Inhale to straighten the leg. You're straightening it. Exhale, bend again. Inhale to come up. Exhale, turn to the ball of the foot, of the left foot. Inhale, reach your arms, look up. Exhale, lean forward, weight forward, left hand down, right hand up, left leg up. Ooh, just do the asana. Next inhale brings us up to standing. Hug everything in towards the midline, coming up. Find your tree, wherever it is. Use your hands to help get the foot up if you want to get super high up. If it hurts your knee at all, do not go on the knee. But if you have no knee problem, there's really no reason. The bodies are strong, very durable. Moving back towards that warrior three, knee comes in, body pivots forward, extend the leg, step it back, hands down, step your right foot up, three like a dog. And step the foot forwards. 
Take the left knee down. Inhale, push the arm. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach again. Look up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, twist. Exhale, arms down, tuck the toes. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, go down. Inhale, take the back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale, comes up. Exhale, step forward, spin the back heel. Ready for warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands behind us, interlace. Get ready, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, option to straighten the leg. Exhale, bend in again. Inhale to come back up. And exhale to pivot the right foot onto the balls of the foot. Inhale, reach your arm, lift up. Exhale, lean forward, right hand down, step it up. Twisted warrior three. So we're lifting up past our left fingertips. Hugging it in towards the midline, knees together, come up to standing, find your tree. Close the eyes or straighten the arm. And make your way back to that warrior three. Knee comes in, body pivots, extend the leg, set it back down, palms down, left leg comes up, and downward facing dog. Coming down, rolling onto the knees, tucking the feet so we can roll back. Sit down, sit onto our mats. And in that position. And then reaching your arms up, we're going to take a forward fold. And hinge forwards, as far as you can go. When you've gone as far as you can go, you hold on to the shins, the ankles the toes, or the outside of the feet. I like to hold on to a block, because then you're putting more pressure onto the tops of the feet here, which is engaging the legs more. I like that, but you might not. So you go wherever you are. You have a sock or something. I find that these bands are quite good for this. They're much easier, not so much length happening as with a yoga strap. Sometimes that makes it easier. And then slowly walking yourselves back up. Having your hands behind us, feet hip width apart, reverse tabletop. We're lifting the hips up. Options to keep looking towards the stomach or relax the head. So pushing up through the glutes, relaxing through the front body, stretching through the inner shoulders. And back down. We're going to do a cow face pose. So our left leg is underneath, our right leg is on top. Maybe we're here. Or maybe the knees are stacked. Option as well, sit on the block or cushion. Give yourself a little bit of height, especially if your feet start to go numb. This will be very helpful. So reach your arms out. We're going to go full cow face this time. So right arm up and over, left arm behind. We're trying to catch again. These bands or sock, very helpful here. Mm -hmm. Let me see more around. Catch. One side may well be much tighter than the other. This is very normal. This is, in fact, my time side. My left shoulder doesn't like to go this way. Uh, 
Long as your snuffs painful. You just want to go to get the stretch. More breaths. One more breath. Release, release the shoulders, maybe a little wiggle, maybe a full movement side to side. Bring your hands outside of the hips, open the feet, little windscreen wiper. Side to side. We're going to go the other side. So this time, left knee's on the bottom. Oh, no. Right knee's on the bottom. Left knee's on top. So again, it can be up here. This might be you. Or somewhere more closer to here. Anywhere in between. As long as you're not sitting on your feet. Don't sit on the feet. That's not the point here. This time, we're right hands coming. Our arms are at the side. Left arms on the top. Right arms on the bottom. Again, you might need your strap, a sock, a scarf, you can go into your t-shirts, whatever. Find a way to make grip with something. Try not to just let your chest go all the way out. Try to keep nice and straight. And breathe. And release, give her elbow, our shoulders a little shake, hands behind, feet wide, a little windscreen wiping. And bring the knees in nice and tight. So we're going to roll backwards. Down slow or slower, and keep the knees in tight and rock from side to side. We go for happy baby as well, where the whole back is on the mat, and we hold on to maybe the shins or the ankles, the big toes, or the outside of the feet, whatever is accessible to you. And again, try and keep whole mat, including the sacrum, the whole back on the mat, including the sacrum. You can be still in your baby or you can rock, trying to feel all the muscles, all the parts of the spine, as they're gently massaged. You can straighten one leg or the other, or both. Or you can be still. Slowly so drawing the feet, knees and towards each other. We're going for a gentle twist. So our knees are going to fall to the left. And we open the right arm to a T or a cactus. Option to look towards the knee or Option to look towards the right shoulder. Going for a full body twist. And coming back up to so center. And we go to the other side. Knees go right. And our left arm opens to the T or a cactus. And the option to gaze either to the knee or to the left hand.
Bring the knees back in towards each other, hugging them tight, hugging the nose to the knees. And then opening out into Shavasana, with the feet wide and the hands wide. Close the eyes, maybe find something to cover them if it's very bright. And take breaths, relaxing through the face. Relaxing through the feet. Relaxing through the chest. Through the hands, relaxing through the ear, and through the feet. Relaxing through the shoulder. Relaxing through the hip. Bring your attention to the heart in the center of the chest, the yogi heart. Visualize it here like a little tiny flicker of light, like a lighter or a match. Glowing brightly, small and intense. And as we breathe in, breathe in love, good energy, gratitude, good intention, good thing, warmth. And so with each inhale, this little light in the center of our heart gets a little bigger and spreads. So with each inhale, we're imagining this glow slowly washing over more and more of the body. We 
breathing in love and peace, joy. Adding it to this burning ball and making it bigger and brighter with every inhale. Until it goes way, way beyond the body, starts reaching out into the universe around you. So that everything that's around you is also touched by this love, and joy, and peace. Shared and spread. Wiggling into the fingers of the toes and the toes. Stretching the arms over the head. Hugging the knees into the chest. Giving ourselves a warm and compassionate hug. And making your way back to seated. Either rocking to the right, pushing up, left. We're rocking up and down the spine, rock and rolling up, whatever feels right and good to you. As long as you come back to the seat, your hand place one hand on top of the heart, and the spine tall. Plant the seeds of metta, of loving kindness just a moment. May all beings be happy. May the seeds of happiness grow in my heart and in my life, so I may spread and share happiness with everyone that I meet. May all beings be peaceful. May the seeds of of happiness, of joy, of contentment grow within my heart and in my life so I can share these things with everyone so that their lives as well as mine can be better. May all beings be filled with love. May the seeds of love grow in my heart in my life, knowing that love is infinitely given and infinitely shared. All there is is love. Bring your palms to touch at the center of the heart. Bow your head in thanks for the practice and for the time. Thank you for spending your time, your morning with me. Thank you for spending your energy with me. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I hope I see you again soon. Thanks, everybody.